All right, we're gonna switch back to actually working on talking about fitness. Um, hypertrophy, I wanna talk about hypertrophy. In the past few months, I have gained 20 to 30 pounds of lean mass. I'm still at about 8%, 8-10% body fat. Um, I might be a little bit more than 10% body fat, but 10% of 220 is, that's a good amount of fat. So even 10% is, in my opinion, 10% is healthy. If you're lower than 10%, you might be getting a little more bodybuilder-ish than you, than you want to for long-term health. Um, as far as hypertrophy goes, you've got to get the volume up. That's just the way it is. It's got to be heavy. It's got to be high volume. That does not mean your frequency needs to be super high. So you can do lighter weights for higher reps, lighter weights for you, for higher reps for you um, more frequently. Or you can do heavier weights for higher volume with lower frequency. By frequency, what I mean is how many times a week. If you're looking at a training, like a one week training block, how many times a week are you hitting that those movements or something that targets those muscles. So the way I got my back to grow was to go through a range of exercises, just a, a lot of different movements that I liked and to keep it simple during the workout. So two to three movements for my back during the workout and really, really focus on giving everything I had working at my end range or my maximal weight for those movements with good form um, and really just pushing the intensity as hard as I could. Uh, I use neoprene for a lot of that. The neoprene will give you amazing strength and size goals, uh, gains uh, to reach your goals. Um, that will help. Also the way I eat, that's very, very important. I do not subscribe to the bodybuilding, eat protein five to six times a day, just pounding protein, pounding protein. I do not subscribe to that. Um, I subscribe to the Strong Fit protocol, which is, we'll get into that later. I have a whole video on nutrition for gains coming up, and I'll get into that. Um, for hypertrophy, I would say make it hurt work hard uh, and recover even harder. Um, if you are not focused on your recovery, you are leaving 50% of your gains on the table. If you are overworking yourself and not able to recover, you will start to plateau and then you will fall back. You see this all the time with CrossFitters who begin and they're starting strength in CrossFit for the first year. They can do, it doesn't matter what they do, they could look at a barbell and they'd get stronger. And I, I was in this boat as well for a long, long time. And after about the two year, four year mark, if you're not a competitive CrossFitter, if you're working out one time a day and you're working out 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour each day, and your nutrition is not on point necessarily, and your sleep is not on point, and your stress levels are high, it's probably going to take you four years of crossfitting as hard as you can to plateau. You will continue to see strength gains. This is for guys, okay, I would say, for guys. Um, I In CrossFit, I did gain weight. I put on muscle. I put on, you know, strength. But I went, you know, and I went from... I think I was a hundred and I started at about 180, 185 pounds, and I went up hard gaining all the way up to probably 195 pounds. I might have been 170 pounds when I started out. I was light, light-ish. I'm 5'11", um, so I'm almost six foot, which for a CrossFitter is not optimal. You're your levers are longer. It just it's not optimal. You need to be short-ish, five seven to five nine, weigh about one ninety five. Which, if you look at those guys, they look they look good and they're extremely strong and extremely fit. They're well fitter than I am. That's not my goal. Um, my goal is longevity. So when they all have had shoulder surgeries and back surgeries and knee surgeries, I want to not have any surgeries and I want to know why my body does what it does. All that to say. 
what I was talking about was putting on, what I was talking about was hypertrophy, putting on muscle. Um, so I plateaued in CrossFit and until I, I got some hypertrophy from some things I did, uh, I got leaner from doing CrossFit, which is, that's a great byproduct of, that's not a byproduct. That's what they're saying. They're saying you're going to get leaner and you're going to lose weight, which is great. And that's a, that's a great thing, but it plateaued. I wasn't putting on any more mass. I wasn't putting on any more strength. And I didn't look like I lifted. I looked like I was kind of scrawny. And because I was trying to push the limits of what I had with the understanding that I had, I was starting to get hurt. And I was starting, my positions were out. The way I held myself, the way my body was when I stood was not nearly as clean as it is now. And it's still not even close to perfect now. Um, but I am getting better. The biggest thing that changed for me was strong fit, starting strong fit, doing rope pulls, building the terries, building the upper back because I had a very strong low back. Um, I had very strong, I had a very strong low back. I had very strong quads and I had a very strong mid back like spinal erectors but I had no lats, I had no teres, my scaps were all over the place, my serratus was all over the place, I had no triceps, I had, you know, a lot of the stuff that you need to be a strong athlete in any sport, I was missing that. Um, as a result, my back looked hunched, it wasn't actually hunched, it was just my T-spine, the curve of my T-spine, but because there were no lats to fill out the side of it, there was nothing there. It just, it was just my rib cage, and so it looked hunched, it looked rounded. Um, and I do have a little bit of a kyphotic arch in my T-spine, but I think a lot of that is because I haven't ever known. CrossFit doesn't teach how to brace correctly, so I haven't ever known how to brace correctly. Strong fit brought in bracing, strong fit brought in breathing, strong fit brought in a lot of that stuff for me. Um, there are other people out there, obviously, that do a very good job of this. Um, Chris Duffin is amazing. Stuart McGill is amazing. Any yoga teacher will teach you how to breathe and brace. Um, Chris Duffin talks about how breathing is not bracing, 100% right. If you watch the guy, he's going to squat a 1,000 by 3. Very strong, very, very, very strong. Um, obviously knows how to brace for moving heavy weights. Stuff like that, that... I had to branch out of CrossFit to get that. And what I found was when I started doing more strong fit, more bodybuilding, more um, thoughtful, slower movement, I started to put on or put on gains. I started to put on size. Um, I didn't gain weight until I changed the way I was eating. And this does not mean that I increased my calorie intake. I did not. In fact, I think I decreased my calorie intake to from about 3,500 calories to about 2,500 to 3,000 calories. Um, but after a while, I stopped even recording my calorie intake or focusing on my calorie intake because I was basing it off of feel. Um, and I'll get into the nutrition portion, but that's very, very important. Also, my, my hypertrophy was directly linked to my quality of sleep because I was getting I was getting the same amount of sleep before the same quantity of sleep but I wasn't getting the same quality of sleep and when I started getting better quality of sleep and sleeping and working towards balancing my nervous system my hypertrophy started going up so all of these things are very very important factors not just the work done in the gym a lot of it is the work done out of the gym, a lot of the work done in the mind, in the gut, in the heart, and all that stuff. Um, knowing when to not push the pace, knowing when to back off, knowing when to recover, knowing when to keep it light, knowing when to, knowing when to just recover is very, very important as well. If you don't recover, your muscles aren't gonna rebuild, you can only build muscle at night while you sleep, so that's when you should be taking your protein in. All this stuff, it all plays in. All that to say, I started overdoing the amount of fat I was taking in 
for my level of activity and for the light that I was actually being exposed to because it was dark. Um, and so I started getting fatter. On top of getting bigger, I was starting to get fatter. Um, I'll get into that in the nutrition thing. That's another video. All that to say, hypertrophy, you need to work hard. You need to have high reps. You need to have heavy weight. And you need to be working to your limits. Uh, and your body knows exactly what to do when you do that. You don't need to be taking testosterone. You don't need to be taking Tren. You don't need to be taking D-ball. You don't, don't do that stuff unless you're a competitive athlete and you're in an unregulated sport such as powerlift, such as diff certain powerlifting federations and whatever. Um, for longevity, I would not suggest taking drugs. That's just not... You'll get results faster, but you'll also have a lot of side effects with it. And that's, that's the name of the game. The goal is to minimize the side effects and try and keep things as close to homeostasis, homeostasis as possible. Um, your body's always going to look for it, so keep it there. Uh, hypertrophy is doable. It's not as tough as everybody thinks. It just takes a little more work than most people are willing to put in. So I guess that's the name of the game, work. And that is not only in the gym, that's also out of the gym. That's focusing on your recovery. Uh, yeah, write what you write what you want to know. I can give you rep ranges. I've worked everything from one rep maxes to hundred rep maxes. So, you know, they all apply. They're all different. They all work. Um, you use them for different things. You use them for different times, and they help you to keep things fresh and keep moving. Bodybuilding isn't boring. CrossFit isn't boring. Powerlifting isn't boring. Weightlifting isn't boring. They're all sports for a reason. Um, there's, there's so much you can do in those parameters. They're amazing. Anyway, um, hypertrophy takes work. I can get into specific stuff if you guys comment and let me know what you would like to see more of. Uh, like and subscribe. I hate when people do that, but whatever. Not when they like and subscribe. I hate when they pitch their channels. Just frustrating. Anyway. We can get into that too later if you want. But hypertrophy will take work. Get it done.